What's going on, everybody? It's the Key Master A4 coming at you guys today with another episode of Daily Dose. Today, Bethesda, little week, Ubisoft wants to make us dance, and Square Enix shows off more Final Fantasy games than they even knew could exist in one 2019 E3. All that and more today, guys. Episode of Daily Dose. Welcome, welcome, welcome. E3 press conferences are basically wrapped up. We have the uh, Nintendo, um, the Nintendo event tomorrow or today, actually. Um, that'll happen today, and then we will, uh, that'll be pretty much it, and from then on, it's just gonna be what we think are the crazy games, probably over the next week or two, along with some news, um, it's gonna be great, I'm really excited, a lot of good stuff, let's dive into the news. Now, with that being said, here we go. Bethesda, we're gonna start Bethesda, Ubisoft, and Square Enix, um, Fallout 76, they talked about it a lot. There's going to be do the new Wastelanders. They're going to have human NPCs returning new main quest Choices and consequences are going to matter. New weapons, full dialogue trees. And it's free for all players. And they're also going to come up with a new BR mode on top of it. Um, it looks kind of interesting. Firing. I mean, I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, hopefully that helps burn up Fallout 76. It definitely had a troubled launch. From beginning to end and hopefully this can kind of help kind of elevate the game a little bit where it should be um maybe this will help that out uh, then we went on to talk about you know elder scrolls starfield hey we're in development da, 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 da. nothing <clears throat> too exciting there um uh, sending max studios came out talked about elder scrolls online and all the different things going on there big dragon update sure you're exciting uh, then they talked about the new Commander Keen game from the same developer. Um, it looks really interesting. It's an old id platform or an old id IP. Uh, They're doing their own spin on it. It should be really interesting. It looked really good. Very cartoony. You guys can see it on, on one of the one of the pictures to the right here. Um, then we went on. Sorry, guys. I'm having to read this ton of information. Um, Rage Two. They're kind of coming out with a new expansion called Rise of the. Rise of the Ghost expansion, new gear, new weapons, new cheats, new friends, new enemies, and more. Uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood, which is going to be solo or co-op. You're going to be um, the daughters of the main character. That should be pretty interesting. And then Arcane Studios had a, a, a trailer come out, Deathloop. Uh, looks extremely interesting. Uh, I'm I'm an, I'm interested to know more. Obviously, I'm sure that is a next gen title. E E three twenty twenty is going to be a big deal, but we'll have to wait until then. Uh, they also started talking going over all the accomplishments of the years. Oh VR, oh we did this, oh we did that. Our engines, blah 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 blah, blah which all led to them announcing their Orion gaming game streaming. Uh, will work or with other cloud platforms, aka Stadia, Xcloud, PS, PS Now, um, <clears throat> and uh, they didn't announce price or anything; just announced that it's coming. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, and then do maternal gameplay uh, with an extended, with a super extended trailer coming out in November twenty second of this year. Um, but my personal my personal game that I thought was amazing <coughs> didn't even know it existed until today. It was very exciting for me. Um, Ghostwire Tokyo. Uh, it's basically, um, you know, it reminded me of like the the trailer reminded me a lot of like how the film style from the cell the cell was. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that movie, it's super artistic, very just like. Bam, in your face, artistic, just great stuff going on, guys. It was, it was extremely well done. Wow, made me want to, made me want to play it right now, which is saying a lot because that's not an easy thing to do, um, especially when it's a trailer. There was no gameplay that I could tell, um, and the tagline for it was "Don't fear the unknown, attack it." You know, it's by the same studio that made Evil Within 1 and 2, so you know it's going to be crazy, you know it's going to be awesome, so definitely look out for that. I'm definitely going to be making a video about that later this week, later this week, um, about that, uh, definitely one of my 
Probably one of my top five from the show this year. Uh, then we had Ubisoft came out. Uh, kind of a weird... <sighs> Ubisoft probably does hands down the weirdest presentation style for E3. I don't know why they why they choose to do the style that they do but they do and it's it's frankly it's it's weird it's it's i don't know i don't get it they had assassin's creed uh they announced the assassin's creed symphony which is going to be on tour very beginning it's like okay way to like everybody's excitement levels up here before you start way to just like just bring it down like down to the floor like it was cool but if you're not an Assassin's Creed fan, you could care two rips about what they were talking about in that moment. Um, super unfortunate, but definitely good announcement still. Watch Dogs Legion, a.k.a. Watch Dogs 3, taking place in Great Britain after Brexit. The whole, you know, they're talking about how it's, you know, more of a, a big brother state now. And people are always being watched. Prince Jones watching you, da 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 da. Tons of info about that game. Super hyped about the game. Was kind of amped about that game. Definitely more excited about it now. March 6, 2020. Uh, definitely excited about them making a video about that. Another one of my top five games at the conference this year. Then we had um, a very odd, yet again, brought it up here with Watch Dogs. And then we brought it back down. Um, Mythic Quest Raven's Banquet. It's an Apple TV product. <laughs> TV show why they decided this was a good time to show us a TV show they're working on I don't know but they did uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint was after that actually Adventure Time and crossover with Brawlhalla was next then Ghost Recon Breakpoint which they announced a couple new things but basically it was just the same stuff they've already talked about in the press conference they had like two weeks ago um, but still cool John, John Barthol was there uh, doing the presentation uh, then we had, of course, Just Dance 2020, because, you know, you can't go a year without Just Dance. Uh, then we had the For Honor Limited Time Mode, Shadows, Shadows of the H H Hikari. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, looked interesting. Rainbow Six Siege. Or not Rainbow Six Siege. Rainbow Six Quarantine, which is a uh, co-op. It's going to be released in early 2020. Uh, the Division 2 is coming out with their... With their Roadmap for the rest of the year. You have three episodes. Um, episode one is going to be at the National Zoo. Episode two will be at the Pentagon. Episode three will be. Did they say where episode three was going to be? I didn't write anything down, so I can't honestly tell you. They also had talked about their deal with Netflix. Um, and then they had a new Roller Champions game, which was awesome. Um, I, and then they also announced Uplay Plus is going to be their streaming platform, fourteen ninety nine a month. A little steep, if you ask me, because let's see here: if I get X Pass Ultimate, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, um, plus that, that's thirty bucks a month in subscriptions just in those two, plus EA, plus Orion, plus 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 plus, whatever. Hard to say. Uh, but they did announce that it's going to work with Google Stadia in 2020. So obviously we know where Ubisoft has decided to put their hat. Next was Square Enix. They had Final Fantasy Remake for about 21 to 22 minutes of the first part of their show. So hopefully you guys were Final Fantasy fans where you were definitely scrolling um, past all of that. Then they continued on to a dot nod, Life is Strange 2, Crystal Chronicles... Octopath Traveler, the Rasp Remnant Remaster, Dragon Quest Builder 2, Dragon Quest 11 Remaster, uh, Circuit Superstars, which is a top down racing game, looks kind of interesting. Battalion 1944, Final Fantasy Soundtracks, Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC. I'm skipping past all this because it was basically splash teaser reels. Come back to 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 back. Not the most exciting thing in the world. Uh, then we had the uh, Shadowbringers DLC for Final Fantasy XIV coming up next month. Dying Light 2, quick little thing. Outriders, summer of 2020. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII Remaster. I mean, they did maybe spend a couple of minutes on um, the Outriders. Uh, that game looks interesting. I'm really excited to see that. 
Um, but then that was pretty much about it till I got to Avengers. Avengers, they of course blew up. They really started with, they had, you know, start with Final Fantasy VII, start with Final Fantasy VII, end with Avengers, and I mean, it, it worked and it didn't. I don't know. I mean, I wish there was a little bit more in the middle to, like, if maybe if they had put, like, Outriders in the middle and kind of given that middle a little bit of beef, I kind of was finding myself fast forwarding. Um, and I don't like doing that, but honestly, this is real for basically 35 minutes, 40 minutes was a little annoying. Um, but, anyways, guys, Avengers by Crystal Dynamics. Uh, they had a trailer followed up by a story setup. They had a video with the voice actors. You have, you're going to be able to play as Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, Iron Man, all playable characters at launch. Uh, you're going to be working in teams of four. The big news, guys, there is going to be no cost to bring additional heroes, diff additional regions, and there's going to be no loot boxes whatsoever. Um, it's going to have a May 15th. You guys, write this down. Get out your pens and paper. I'll wait. Okay, May 15th, 2020 is the day, guys. Um, that's going to be when it's going to be released. And as they were doing that announcement, they talked about, or they showed a, a little more of a tease, a background thing, of Hank Pym is shrinking down this giant robot and shrinking it teeny tiny. Not this small. He was holding it with his hand. But more of the story, guys. Hank Pym was there, so obviously I'm sure we'll be having Ant-Man. Um, I'm interested to see what they do, like if they stick to like the Hank Pym, or you'll be able to, you know, like which version of some of these characters are going to be. You're going to be able to unlock skins within the game. How's that? How's this whole thing going to work? Um, but no, guys. I mean, th those three commentators were pretty good. Uh, definitely interesting to see that the these guys had to rely a little bit more on themselves this year. Um, and didn't, couldn't just you know, have Microsoft or Sony uh, show it off for them. I said that that was definitely an interesting spin on e on E3 because that's usually how it works. Is one of the bigger you know one of the big um, console platforms will have like the Avengers game, and they'll be showing it off. Um, but no, it was definitely good. Uh, definitely, I feel like I said, guys, uh, Ghostwire Tokyo, Death Loop. Um, Watch Dogs Legion, Avengers, I mean, those are definitely games that, yeah, off the top of my head, um, definitely games that were like, oh my god, this is going to be amazing, um, I am going to be posting tomorrow, I will be posting my E3 press conference kind of thoughts, um, I do have a lot of strong opinions on this, on E3 2019, as far as the press conferences go, I'm starting to catch up with uh, game Slice, and which is Jeff Keighley doing interviews with people and they're bringing in gameplay and, and doing all that stuff and you know I'm definitely I'm trying to get this all done for you guys we are going to spill into next week I'm still going to try to continue the regular news but I'm also going to try to do like Ghostwire Tokyo right there I'm going to try to do a little extra something special on just that one game um, and then like do like that one Death Loop. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion, because Watch Dogs Legion was amazing. There's a lot of really cool features that Ghost um, Watch Dogs Legion is bringing to the table, guys. And I definitely want you guys to know about it because I am sorry. I was sleeping on Watch Dogs 3, aka Legion. And oh my god, it might be. I don't know if it's at that must buy level yet, but it is. It's getting its way up there. I mean, obviously, we still have Gamescom to come. Hopefully, we'll find out more then. Um, but as you guys have noticed, a lot of these games are coming out in 2020. I mean, granted, it's the first half. But still, something we need to talk about in the next video. Now, guys, with that being said, make sure you guys leave a like if you guys learned something today. Hit those comments if there's anything that we missed or anything you want us to cover further. And if you guys enjoy what you watch, make sure you guys leave a subscribe with a hit and hit hit the bell icon so that way you guys don't miss on any of the great E3, E3 coverage you have we have coming at you over the next couple weeks and with that being said this has been the Key Master 84 we play games to make games haters gonna hate we'll see you guys next video Peace.